This is a homecoming of sorts for NFL Network's Judy Batista. When she was covering the Jets, we were in Long Island, of course. Uh, yes, uh, we'll, but we're better now. Um, what do you think about the day? Because it started with NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell out here, Curtis Martin, the Jets legend, of course. He looks like he could play. Oh, my God, unbelievable. And then uh, Zach Wilson, uh, he put on a show for the fans, I thought. He had a great practice. I thought the fans were great. The energy was great. I mean, especially, you know, we haven't been in front of fans since 2019. So I think there's a lot of pent up excitement and obviously lots of pent up excitement for the new coach and the new quarterback. I look at one point, Zach Wilson right, completed that long pass to Elijah Moore, maybe about 80 yards. And I heard a fan behind me scream, Super Bowl! <laughs> so they were into it. Um, he gave him a show. He had a great practice. So they, they got a good uh, taste of what life might be like with him. So as after today's session, you sat down with Robert Sala, the Jets' first year head coach. What did you take from that? Uh, they love that Zach, um, he, he says he's relentless. And look, they love that he can throw off platform and like move around. And uh, look, at, that's all good for a young team because let's face it, like they're gonna, there's gonna be broken plays and you want him to be able to extend them and maybe complete a pass or two. Uh, they love him and he, and he said look you know i thought he had a great quote in his press conference that he did where he said it's going to be a roller coaster right he's going to be up and down and it's going to drive us all crazy but that's what rookies are like not just quarterbacks rookie linebackers are the same way and um but they think he's relentless and they think mentally he really processes things well so lots of upside and today i thought uh, you know his first practice yesterday after the long layoff was a little shaky but today was a pretty good practice and, and I think there's a lot to build off of. Different leadership styles for coaches out there. What do you think about the way Robert approaches things and also is he going to be very good for a young roster? This is the youngest the Jets have been at this point in 20 years. Wow. Mm. So when I covered the team back <laughs> back in the day, right? That was 20 years yeah, ago that's when, right. when they had those four first round draft yeah. picks, remember? Um, well, first of all, I think he's just Mr. Cool, right? Like he handles every kind of question. He got a question yesterday, um, uh, you know, or maybe two days ago before Zach had signed the contract, sort of on the, uh, along the lines of same old Jets kind of thing. And he handled that great. Um, so I think he's a great face of the franchise kind of guy, right? He's got high energy, but obviously really smart and just really in control and upbeat. Um, and lots of positive energy. And, and that's what you want when you've got a young team, right? I mean, you gotta make those guys believe they can do it. And, and they, got, they got six weeks to get them ready. So you really gotta not just give them the plays and, and get that part ready. You gotta get them ready mentally and emotionally for, um, you know, for a long season. What do you anticipate from Carl Lawson? Coming over from the Cincinnati Bengals, he had 20 sacks in four seasons. I think people just look at the sacks and say, well, I don't know if he's an elite player. Yeah, you, but a disruptor. Right? That's right. That's he had 30, 32 quarterback yeah. hits last year, and now you're pairing him up with Quinn and Williams on the inside, mm -hmm. Sheldon Rankins, Fuller, Runzo, Fadakasi, and company. Yes, I think they think he can be a disruptor. I think they like what they're doing on both side, on both lines of scrimmage, um, so that's encouraging. But I also think he's like a little bit of a veteran presence, right? You've got, as you said, a super young roster, and you do need those veterans in places to – bring the young guys along uh, and he's also he's looked really quick right in the practices that we've seen he's he's looked pretty good Do so you like that dynamic with him going against Makai Becton yeah, every day yeah, well, that's a pretty good right you take that show down every day I did think the left side of the line of the offensive line looks really good with Becton there um and Elijah Vera Tucker like that's a that's a powerful left side of the line that that'll be good for Zach Wilson I wanted to ask you about CJ Mosley we haven't seen much from him the past two years. Of course, opted out because of COVID last year. He's come back to camp in great shape. I know. 231 pounds. I know. He looked like an almost entirely different human being, right? He showed up like I saw the video and I was like, wow. Um, look, I think whatever you get out of him at this point is a good thing. I mean, obviously last year, you know, it was what it was and you, you didn't get anything. But again, I think you want a, you need a veteran kind of presence um, on, on a team that's super young. There's going to be ups and downs this year. I mean, we know that it's a young team with a young quarterback. It's, it, but, but you, you need some veterans to sort of, you know, sometimes steady the ship when things get a little rocky. And I, and I think whatever you get from him will be great leadership. He's got experience, and he's got experience at winning. 
Um, so you need that. Overall vibe, though, do you think the Jets are headed super in the right positive. direction? Yeah, I think the I think the vibe is super upbeat and positive, and really looking forward. I do look. I mean, we've been around the team for a long time now, and I know they've started over with quarterbacks, but I really feel like. Everybody's on the same page now. Joe Douglas, Robert Sala, the new quarterback. And I, you know, I feel like everything is on the upswing. Uh, Judy Batista, great seeing you great as always. Great to see you.